Hello guys, so on today's video I'm going to show you uh, how to do some basic maintenance on your mobility scooter. Uh, so Titan or Regal scooters have two different types of fluids that needs to be replaced every two three years. So the front uh, wheel brake fluid will needs to be replaced uh, two, every two three years. Depends on the climate where you live. If you live in more humid climate, so more often you need to replace it, maybe every two years. Pretty much the same situation with the rear differential fluid. So to replace the rear differential fluid, you will need the uh, gear a lubricant, which is a 75W90. You can buy it at Walmart for under 10 bucks. You will need a measuring cup unless you have a, this same style of the bottle as I do and it has a measuring uh, numbers on the side. You will need a ratchet with a 10 millimeter socket and some kind of a tray to collect old oil. So let me show you how to do that. You will need to open the seat and you will need to remove this plastic tray which is only four bolts, two here and two on the bottom. Lift it up and now you see the rear differential right here. It looks like a pumpkin. And this would be a fill plug on the top. On the bottom, you're going to have exactly the same shape a drainage plug. So let's go underneath and uh, remove that drainage plug. Now, my machine is basically brand new. I still like to check if there is a sufficient oil inside of that rear differential who knows maybe factory they forgot to add it maybe it's not sufficient level or amount or or maybe the quality is not as good as 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 the quality of oil that i purchased from from walmart so so this differential does not have any pressure or temperature it just uh, basically splashing that oil inside okay so it's dripping slowly and uh, let's go remove the top plug and it's going to pour out completely and much faster because there will be no more vacuum in that differential now both of the both of the uh, plugs the fill and the drain will be exactly the same shape, same size. So doesn't matter which one you're gonna use on the top or on the bottom. Now, while the oil is dripping, I wanna show you what I'm going to use uh, to uh, the thread compound, the sealant for the thread to prevent uh, those uh, drainage plugs, especially drainage plug from leaking any of the oil. Mm. And from to, uh, to prevent from losing this plug just in case because it will be some vibration down the road so I'm going to apply a little bit of this uh, compound on each of those plugs so I'm going to clean it if you have a brake cleaner that's fine if you don't have it and just clean it with a, some kind of cloth or paper towel and now it's good to go I'm going to apply just a little bit on both of them and wait another couple seconds until it's going to be completely drained. Now look underneath. Now looks like all of my oil came out and uh, it's still dripping but no big deal if it's going to be left over a few drops inside of the differential so let's put the drain plug back and retighten it you don't need any torque specs just retighten it uh, don't over tighten it Otherwise, you will damage the thread inside of that differential or on that plug. 
The plug is uh, no big deal. You can replace it with a regular bolt, which is a M6 by one metric bolt. But if you will damage the thread on the differential, that's going to be a problem in the future because it will be leaking. Okay, now it's all good. And now we're ready to <coughs> refill it with the oil. Now, as I said before, if you have some kind of measuring cup, all you need is 200 milligrams, which is right there on the bottom. I'm not going to use this cup in my case, because I have this uh, bottle right here, which is marked. So 100, 200, 3, 4, 5. Now remember that you have some, some empty uh, space right here on the bottle, so you cannot measure it exactly from... You have to turn it down, turn it upside down and start to measure 200 from the the top mark which is in my case 300 so between 3 and 4 is going to be 100 milligrams and between 4 and 5 is going to be another 100 so I'm going to use a I'm going to use a marker to mark it how much oil where to stop it so when it's going to go down I'm going to see that it's going all the way down to 500 mark so I have two 200 milligrams exactly. Okay, let's go. Now, as you can see, slowly going down. Let's, we can squeeze it a little bit to speed up this process. So right now I have 100 milligrams inside. Right here about 150, and by the way, this is enough. 150, 200, that's, that's maximum what you want to add. You don't need more than that. Okay, we're good to go. So, I added around 180, 200 milligrams. That's all you need. Between 150 and 200, to be exact. So it's just going to splash inside of the differential. And now, just uh, put your filler plug back and retighten it. Same deal with the filler plug, there's no torque specification, because you have this sealing compound, and uh, usually the top plugs never get loose anyway, I would say. So, don't over tighten it, don't break anything and put your plastic tray back in place and you're good to go for the next two three years okay take care